welcome back. For number 127 in essential elements, we have um, a combination of F sharps and F naturals. So if you look at your key signature first, you see that we have an F sharp, which tells us that we're going to mostly play high twos unless we see an accidental. Uh, so in the first measure, there's no accidental, and it even gives you a little hint that you're going to play high second finger. This carrot top, it's like an upside down carrot or a V or whatever you want to call it, um, is the symbol in music for a half step, which means that your fingers will touch. And so when you see the half step symbol or when you see the F sharp or when you see something that says high second finger, that's a pretty good indication that you need a high second finger here. Over here, though, we have an accidental. We have F natural. And so we're going to try and remember that when we get to this measure, we have to pick up our second finger and make a low two. And when we do that, that's called a whole step. Another way you can think of it is that the half step is, remember, a minor second, like Jaws, like we did in the Sunflower song way back last semester. And a whole step um, is like when you play your scales. The first two notes in any scale are a whole step. So when we say our note names for this one, we're going to say G, fish, G, O, lift, G, F, G, lift, repeat, G, fish, G, lift and set, G, F, G, I'm not totally sure if I was singing the right notes there, but you can follow along with me and now you're ready to pluck and bow that exercise. As you go on, you can start looking at the key signature and using your detective skills to figure out on your own if you are supposed to use a high two or a low two. So in number 128 in Spy Guy, we have an F sharp in the key signature. We have no accidentals in the first measure. But we do have some accidentals later on in the piece. And so this F accidental is going to mean that we're going to have F natural for these two notes. But then this one goes back to F sharp. So that F sharp carries until the next measure. So as you're filling this out, you're going to write in the note names. You can either write F sharp, F hashtag, or um, F, just regular F. You don't have to write F natural. You can just write F. And then underneath where you write the finger numbers, if it's going to be a high two, you put H2. And if it's going to be a low two, you put L2. And then you can use this worksheet to help you follow along as you're learning to play uh, these new patterns that we're learning. Um, use broken records. Use add a measure. Go slow. Make sure that this is a concept that you understand. Don't rush through it because this is going to be really important, especially as you start to look at things like your audition packets for next year. Uh, turn in this worksheet to Google Classroom by the end of the week. Good luck, have fun, and ask me questions if you have them.